like to pay our high respect to our honorable judges. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are from Group 5 TV, and today we are going to talk about how can we empower the career industry with people, uh, for people with disability. And here is a table of contents, and basically the idea of wanting to empower people with disability have always been in on my mind whenever I go whenever I go on like the bus stop or traffic stop and see uh, those people uh, with disability uh, choose to ask people for money instead of trying to find their job uh, properly. Uh, to support their financial, and I was always wondering, like, uh, is this uh, their only choice? They have no choice, or uh, is it they don't know that they don't, they have other choice? And um, according to HRMH organization, the latest statistic data of Cambodia employment rate um, on overall population, uh, it show it has shown that they. There is a uh, nine percent of people with disability overall uh, of the overall population, and in those nine percent, we have only zero point eight percent of them who got employed, which is uh, what we are concerning and what is convincing us enough to uh, consider it as our main problem in our society is that the gap between uh, the employment gap between regular people and those disabled people is too big. And uh, literally, uh, I bet you guys still re remember the news that go on viral on Facebook. According to Phnom Penh Post, uh, they say that there is 99% of people uh, they have who have their job. And meanwhile, there are only up to 1% of the people with disability uh, that uh, who have that job, and that's what we are going to emphasize about our problem. And basically, it's, it's, uh, this is our problems that, can you imagine of the rest of the, those people with disability that have no jobs uh, are doing with their life right now? Like, how can they survive to live in this society by, uh, without having no jobs at all? Like this is uh, what we are going to like uh, trying to solve. And uh, can you imagine like they have no connection, they have no source of information how or where to find uh, the job to have their financial. Uh, it's okay to uh, for other uh, people with disability like they have other support with their family or something like that. How about the other who have no support at all? And uh, the next point we'll uh, show you on how we come up with the solution. Uh, so for the solution, we would like to introduce you guys to Kang Yi Young, which is the platform that we offer the training and the job opportunities for the disabled people. So uh, uh, it is help to enhance their skill and also matching them with the employers uh, that are seeking for diverse talent. So I would like to talk about the features of our app, which we have uh, that uh, the users can browse all the job and also the training uh, opportunities that we provide for the uh, disabled people. And our app is accessibility features, like we use text-to-speech function, uh, function for uh, like people who are uh, hard to see or hard to read, so they can use it easily with the user-friendly. So uh, we also have the... Uh, uh, the feature for the employers to upload the job into our app easily and for the uh, user or the disabled people who use our app, uh, they can generate the auto portfolio from our app to showcase their skill to the employers as well. So we have the job recommendation based on the, uh, based on the uh, skill and preference of them and uh, we have the data inside that we, uh, uh, we show about the employee, uh, employment and also the disabled people uh, that, we have a uh, that we will collect in the survey. So our solution will, uh, will bring the passion, also the confidence in the disabled people to pursue their dream. Also the, uh, we drive the economic growth to empower them to uh, continue at, uh, uh, their skill, uh, their ability to uh, empower themselves uh, to, uh, yeah, uh, to grow empowerment and also the motivation, we, uh, we have them to build motiva uh, motivation from them to uh, like 
they uh, are passionate about uh, working or continue their dream. So uh, here is the implementation part. We will uh, survey and also uh, so, uh, do the social media campaigns to test and uh, understand better uh, what are the skills uh, uh, that the disability people have. Or is to is to the judge. You also have five minutes to ask if you have any question. So the timer will tick after your first question is asked. Just out of curiosity, in your um, when you were defining the problem, have you actually analyzed data uh, from existing job announcements on newspapers on websites? Um, because some of the problem statements, it's quite generic, just saying uh, employees, employers don't uh, post on this or things like that. So what's the actual, what's the actual analysis you've done on the existing job announcements? And, where, and did you identify the specific gaps? And maybe providing specific suggestions Uh, so thank you for your question. So basically, uh, we uh, find out uh, the existing data on our government website, but it's limited, of course. And we analyze on how uh, the gap between normal people and uh, people with disability uh, with the employment rate, like uh, have, uh, I have mentioned uh, above, like the gap is so wide that we need to um, make uh, the take the action on it because like uh, also we have found some uh, partnerships uh, that open for people with disability that uh, we could take action on to improve on uh, the gap between normal people and disabil uh, and people uh, with disability and presentation I would like to uh, know more about the after, uh, I mean, post development, because uh, you work primarily on developing app. After you got the app, what will you do? Who, who will maintain it? Who will uh, play a role in doing the partnership thing? I mean, who will make it, you know, work? You understand my question? Um, yeah, sustainability. Uh, so I would like to answer your question. Like uh, you asked uh, that uh, who will uh, support or continue like uh, our app after we develop our app. So after we develop our app, we uh, we need to talk with the partners who uh, like uh, they offer the job opportunities or the training program for the disabled people. So uh, we. Uh, uh, already uh, discussed with uh, some of them also, but, but uh, some of them we uh, just find it, found it in social media and also uh, the platform. So uh, we think that we're going to discuss more ab about this opportunity for uh, the disabled people and talk with them about more of this opportunity and we uh, integrate it with our app so uh, we can uh, connect them with the disabled people to find job easier. Who will coordinating this process? Coordinating the partnership. I mean, you're not developing app and you expect them to uh, input all the information. Who will connect it, all the partners? Who um, will maintain yes. it? You guy or you hand over to someone? Yes, I think uh, we will find uh, to uh, ask for help from the government themselves because like uh, we are doing it to in order to help them uh, to improve our own like society like help with our people so I think that's a good reason for them to help us like provide us more uh, access to uh, talk with our partnership yes of course to the app that you're having? 
Okay, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I like how your 5GB team is quite clear with your objective, what you really want out of this. But at the same time, I have questions on the feasibility and accessibility of this app. Is this also available in Khmer language as well? Yes, of be. course. And then, um, will it, because some who having hearing issue, for example, yes, yes, yes. or some probably having a person with this blind, for example, yes. so I wonder whether this type of app is at this stage and right. still having, you know, like, like the voice, is it al already available in Khmer language as yes, well? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, uh, we're using NLP, uh, as known as uh, natural language processing, which uh, is accessible for like people who uh, have blindness or a uh, problem with hearing because it's access for like text to speech. Like uh, it's help them with the problem that when they use the, our app. Uh, also with the Khmer language also because we uh, created for our people, like my people, especially. <laughs>